What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more Regulation D teams for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing the last Hisuian starter on my channel, Hisuian Decidueye. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Hisuian Decidueye is a really cool Pokemon, a grass and fighting type Pokemon with an amazing design. Just look at it. Actually, you guys can't even see it. It's, it's behind me, but you guys get the idea. It looks very, very cool. But this team is also centered around Shrick Room Cresselia. It also has Hisuian Avalug and the Pokemon Ursaluna, which everybody is saying this Pokemon is absolutely broken. And I do believe it is. I, I played a few times on the casual ladder off screen and off recording, and this Pokemon is the real deal. But the first Pokemon that we're going to be talking about in today's team preview is going to be Indeedee. Indeedee, great for Trick Room, great for support. It has Psychic Surge and the Psychic Seeds. Follow me, Helping Hand, Dazzling Gleam, and Trick Room. Armourouge is going to be our second Pokemon. Everybody knows Armourouge is an absolute beast in Trick Room and paired up with Indeedee. It has Flash Fire, the Life Orb, then Shrock and Armor Cannon, Energy Ball, Expanding Force, and Trick Room. Third Pokemon is going to be Cresselia, another Trick Room Pokemon. We have three Pokemon that can pop Trick Room, so we're going to be getting it off in pretty much every single battle. Cresselia's got Levitate, the Covert Cloak, Dazzling Gleam, Psychic, Lunar Blessing, and Trick Room. This Pokemon, you're going to be seeing it a lot in Regulation D. It is a very, very great Trick Room setter, very bulky at the same time. It's just such a good Pokemon all around. Ursaluna is in our fourth slot, and this Pokemon hits like an absolute truck. It has Guts, it has Flame Orb, so once it gets that Guts triggered, it's going to be doing some big time damage. It also has Facade, EQ, Headlong Rush, Protect, and the normal Terror type. So pair up Facade with the Burn, plus the Guts boost, plus the Stab boost, because he is normal typing, plus the Terror boost. Facade is doing some crazy damage, so super excited to be showcasing this Pokemon on the channel, as well as the Sidueye. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Hisuian Avalug, and this is another Pokemon that I have not seen on the ladder yet, so it's going to be pretty cool to showcase this Pokemon as well. He has Strong Jaw, the Chapelberry, and then Rockin' Mountain's Gale, Rock Slide, Crunch, and Protect. Final Pokemon is going to be the star of the show, the Sidueye over here, scrappy as its ability with the leftovers as its item. It's got bulk up to boost the attack stat and its defensive stat at the same time, triple arrows, which is its signature move, Leaf Blade, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on our casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Hisuian Decidueye Trick Room team. Loading into our first match for today's video, and I'm super excited to be using this team right here. Uh, the Decidueye's speed stat is rather low, but his attack stat is at about like 180, so this thing absolutely rips in Trick Room. But something I forgot to mention during the team preview is I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Yan. Thank you so much for making this team and sending it to me over on Twitter. Cannot wait to use this team, and I'm kind of hoping that this battle will start rather quickly because this is like a longer loading screen. Oh, there we go. Failed to connect. That's fine. We'll take that down the chin. We'll just reset here with you guys still here. You guys can hang out with me for a little bit. And we'll just pick our nice little Decidueye team again. But yeah, Yan, thank you so much for making this team. Send it to me over on Twitter. If you guys have rental codes for me, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below. Or send them to me over on Twitter. Either or works. I absolutely love using you guys' teams for YouTube videos. They're just a lot of fun. But first match is on its way. And we're going up against... Um, hmm. Okay. We're going up against a nice Tornadus team. Nice, lovely little Tornado team. So, indeed, he's going to be actually pretty good here to stop t any taunts from coming through here because taunt is a little bit of a problem. So, I'm going to go into indeed to try to set the trick room. I just think it's pretty solid. Stops fake outs, stops taunts, like first turn priority taunts, unless they go into like Gyarados and taunt me from that way. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do? Yeah, indeed, he's got to be a lead. I said we go indeed. And then we try to lead something like maybe Armourouge here. Or I could go Decidueye. I could lead Decidueye. I mean, Decidueye's not bad. Decidueye's not bad. What is your typing here, Indeedy? Your terror typing. Fairy. Fairy's pretty solid. So if any dark Pokemon want to come in here, we can just swap into Fairy typing. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to go there. I could go Ursaluna. I could definitely go Ursaluna. But you know what? I'm going to go Decidueye. Bring Ursaluna in the back end. And then go Cress. Cress or Armour? Let's go Armourouge. Armourouge has Trick Room uh, just like Indeedy, but it can also pair up with that second terrain. So I like that. I like that. Plus, if we need some big damage in the back end, Armourouge is that guy. Armourouge is that guy. But let's see who they end up leading. I'm kind of hoping Tornadus comes out here, right? I'm kind of hoping Tornadus. I know we have a little bit of an issue with, uh, with 
air moves with this Ijiwai because he's four times weak to him. But I feel this like should be fine. Tornadus and Urshifu come out here. The Tornadus and Urshi Urshifu come out here. So indeed he's going to fly here. Um, hmm. What do I do? What do I do? This Bleak Wind Storm's a little bit of a problem. Bleak Wind Storm is definitely a little bit of a problem. I don't have Focus Sash. Um, huh. Gotta pop the Trick Room. I gotta Terrasilize Pop Trick Room. Terrasilize Pop Trick Room. 100%. 100% my play. Um, I could Leaf Blade into this thing, but I'm just gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect. I don't want Tornadus going first, dropping up Bleak Wind Storm and just dumping it on me, but he ends up with Jaw and Urshfu, which is fine. That's totally fine. And Gary the Gyarados is gonna come out of here. So Gary the Gyarados flies out of here. He wants to get off Intimidate. We'll probably just hard swap Urshfu. Or not Urshfu. Uh, what's it called? Oh no, this is why. But we have Scrappy. Never mind. We will not. Actually, works out perfect. Scrappy ability. Loving it. Give me. Let me get Scrappy up in here. Let me get Scrappy, baby. Love some Scrappy. But we're gonna Terrasilize into Fairy. We actually didn't need to, which kind of hurts. But it's all good. It's all good. And I, just, I end up just protecting. I was doing that just in case uh, what's called came through. Oh, there's a taunt. You cannot taunt me. That's exactly why I went into that. But the reason I went into uh, the reason I went into the uh, what's called the t Terra was just in case like close combat was coming through. I really didn't want to take big time damage to that. But from here, I'm just gonna dash and gleam, and I could leaf bleed. Can leaf blade. I'm scared of the what's it called. I am terrified of the bleak wind storm. But you know, I'm gonna leaf blade down Gyarados here. So leaf blade's gonna fly through here. Gonna do some big time damage. We get a crit. Love it. Gleam's gonna also fly. Can that take out the Gyarados? I know it's not taking out Tornadus, but maybe the Gary. Does not. Not even close. Not even close. Gyarados goes for a thunder wave, and I'm dodging. No bleak wind storms allowed. Air slash. I'm dead to that. That's four times super effective. Yeah. This is UI dies that all day. It's all good. We got off some damage with him. Now I can bring out the Ursa Ursa. Right? Or do I just bring out Indeedy or Armrush here? Yeah, I pretty much just bring out Armrush here and wrap this one up. <laughs> this one's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward here. I like it a lot. Cool. So from here, I'm just going to go for the ye old helping hand expanding force combo. And that pretty much wraps this up, right? Unless you have Rillaboom. I know Rillaboom's on your team. But you would need to change up terrain here. But I help in hand. I'm going to say bye-bye to both these guys. And Rain Dance is going to fly here. Good thing we're not going for any fire moves. I love his suing Decidueye, but its only problem is air Pokemon. and Or not air Pokemon, flying type Pokemon. And there's a lot going to be in Regulation D. So if you're not Terrasilized Decidueye, he's not going to be too hot. So kind of like Garrett, or not Garrett, Garchomp in uh, Regulation C or Series 3. Like... Garchomp really fell off because of uh, certain Pokemon like Fluttermane, Chen Pao, all that good stuff. So without Terrasilization, it's really not as good as you want it to be. But still, the Decidueye can get some work done. We'll definitely be showcasing a bit more match number two and in match number three. But he ends up uh, going into these two. He can't use first turn priority. This match is wraps. Get this guy on out of here. This match is wraps. This match is wraps. Actually, you could be Focus Sash. We could have a little bit of an issue here. You could be Sashed. Urshu ends up protect. Oh. Uh-oh. This match is not wraps. I lied. I lied. I did I did indeed lie. I did indeed lie. I did indeed lie. I'm dead now. Actually, you went for an ice spin. That works. I thought he was going to take out my... Oh, wow. You just took out my Indeedee. I thought you were going to take out my armors. Okay. So, no more terrain. You can go for first turn priority moves. Like Aqua Jet. A little bit of an issue. But hey, we'll take this one on chin. Um, from here, we'll go Ursuline. We might actually might lose this match. That Protect was big time. That Protect was big time. I feel like from here, we just... How many turns left to trick or miss? Real question. One. We have to use it wisely. We have to go for EQ. Let me just pop EQ and we go for... Do we double down? I don't have Protect. I want to go EQ Protect. But you know what? We'll go... We'll go for this. I'm terrified. He's gonna Thrasilize too. Probably Urge for here. I mean, there's no way you change Shen Pao's typing. You do change Shen Pao's typing. Okay, straight dark. That makes sense. So Sucker Punch gonna KO me here. That's a problem. I think we lose this match. We're definitely gonna lose this match. Sucker Punch KO me. Unless you go after Ursaluna. Yeah, no, you don't. Man, we were thriving. We were looking pretty good. Uh, that Protect was big time. That protect was big time. 
Headlong Rush is going to come in here. It's going to bring you down to Focus Ash. Not even Focus Ash. You get a free, free Focus Ash. And now I'm just dead to this uh, Surgeon Strikes. Yeah. Surgeon Strikes in the rain. One of them. Just one of them's needed. And that takes me out. So, decent match number one. We end up losing it. But hey, we're going to hop into that second match. Look for a first victory. And you know what? I'm going to say we're going to grab our first victory. Loading up our second match for today's video. We'll take that last loss on the chin, but that one was definitely a close match up until Shen Pao and Urshifu came out there. They're just an amazing combo. Really, really tough to play up against. But what are we going up against here? The Alka, Typhlosion, Tank Lu, Ditto, Gengar, and Inteleon. So a weird group of Pokemon here. A definitely a very weird group of Pokemon, but it's very strong Pokemon. Like Dialga's very, very strong. Tank Lu's very strong. Typhlosion can hit like a truck. So we'll see what we want to do here. I could go Crest for the lead. I definitely want to try to get the CGY out there and get some work done with him. So I'm thinking of maybe just bulking him up. Maybe just trying to pop a Trick Room. I feel like that could be your play. I feel like that definitely could be your play. You know what? I'm going to go Indeedee here, and I'm going to go the CGY. And then from here, I'm just going to go Ursaluna and Avalon. I feel like we can get this game done rather quickly. So I'm going to look to try to bulk up the CGY here and just start ripping, right? I'm going to pop the Trick Room with Indeedee. I think that's going to be my play all day. And then hopefully survive a shot, maybe get off a bulk up with the situation after I follow me, and then just get after the match that way. But yeah, that first match, we played pretty good. We got to trick him up all that good stuff. But once that Urshfu protected, it really changed the tides because then Shen Pao was able to take out my, uh, my Indeedee with one shot with Ice Spinner. And at the same time, taking out Terrain, which kind of hurts. It definitely hurts. But there is Gengar. Well, what typing? He's Ghost. Is he Ghost in Dark? No, he's Ghost in Poison. So I don't mind that. I don't really mind that. He's gonna imposter me. And now there's two Indeedees on the field. There's two Indeedees on the field. You know, I'm just gonna pop a Trick Room and I might just protect. I could bulk up. I could definitely bulk up here. I'm gonna bulk up here. I'm gonna bulk up. This will be my play. I'm gonna go for the bulk up before the Trick Room. That is what Jeans is doing here. The bulk up before the trick room. Booster defense. I know they go first, but... I wonder what we're going to see. Hopefully, like, that Ditto just goes for, like, a follow me, right? Because I know it has the same moves as me. I highly doubt a trick room. So now, what, what's Gengar changing to? Watch. It's going to be, like, flying type. And it's just going to rip into my, uh... My Decidueye. Ice. Oh, God. Should have went... Should have just protected. I should just protect it. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Ice type out here. Terror Blast. This is you. I soak this up for me. Soak this up for me, my mans. We soak. What's Ndidi going for? Gleam. I'm dead to that. This is you. I soaked. Hold up. Wait a minute. I'm here. This is you. I came to play. This is you. I came to play. Cool. So now Trick Room's out and about. Um. Huh. What's my play here? I'm thinking of just maybe protecting Decidueye this turn and swapping in DD. Because that could be the play. Because I could bring out a Pokemon like you. Actually, we're going we're gonna to do this, right? Watch this. This is going to be my play. We're going to swap in DD in for Avalug. I'm going to protect my Decidueye. Avalug next turn could then terrestrialize into... Actually, is that Pokemon still normal typing? No, it takes my typing. I'm gonna say, then I could terrestrialize into Dark Crunch, finish off in DD, and then take out Gengar with triple arrows. That's my plan. Unless you're Sash. Sash is a little scary here, right? Gleam's gonna fly. I'm a little scared. But we gotta make plays here. We gotta make plays. Gotta make plays. Avalug's able to soak, and a Dark Pulse flying in that slot. Okay, cool. We're here. We came to play. We came to play. We're hoping no sashes are out and about. The sash is a little bit of a problem. But from here, Avalug's getting that dark typing. I'm going for the crunches. I'm going for it. And then triple arrow this slot right here. So we're looking to make some plays. We should have just protected our DCGY turn one. But I, I got ahead of myself with the bulk up. Got way ahead of myself with the bulk up. So we're hoping Gengar's not sash. I really am hoping Gengar's not sash. Because at this point, then I could just take it out. Avalug, I'm hoping you can do enough damage to get rid of Ndidi. I know you're not normally dark, but with the Terra and Crunch, super effective. 
be some big time damage. Avalok has high attack set too, so I'm hoping we can just pick up a double kill and we can just move through this tricking, right? Like we still have Indeed with full HP in the back end, which is wonderful. And we could potentially set up another trick room for Ursulina later. We'll see. We'll see, but that Ice Terror on the Gengar. <laughs> like, do me dirty. I'm just trying to get the CGY to get some work done. But we're going to Terrasalize the Avlug. Into straight dark, baby. I'm not playing around. So we're going to rock out with a Crunch. Paint KO? It's my first time using Avlug. Let's go, Avalug. Big time place for us. Oh, Rocky Helmet, really? Show me no sash on this Gengar. Show me no sash on this Gengar. We get cooking. Show me no sash on this Gengar. Triple arrows flying. It's sash. Of course it's sash. Of course it's sash. So I'm saying bye bye to my Decidueye. Terrible ass flying through here. Kind of hurts soul, but I get Avalug for another turn, which is good. Decidueye, you got some work done. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. So the Sijuai drops out. And from here, we can go Ursaluna. I'll go Ursaluna here. I do have Mountain Gale, which is Avalok's signature move. I might want to roll into that. I could EQ here. I got to see the speed difference on, on the Pokemon. Kind of hoping Avalog is slower than Ursaluna. So I would love to be able to drop EQs. I could actually just go for Headlong Rush there. Oh my god, the Alka's massive. He's massive in this game. He is massive. <laughs> Let me see the speed real quick. Oh, I also have strong jaw. But you're 38 and you're 49. That works perfectly because from here, now I can just go for like a mountain gale. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. It's signature move. Pearl's giant chunks of ice inflict damage. It also might make a flinch. So now I can do that. And I can also drop an EQ. The so mountain gale is going to come out here. Bop, bop, bop. Big time damage. We love it. And now EQ is going to fly. So they were taking out my Avalog anyway. I'd rather be the one to take him out. And I pick up an easy double kill. The Alga's massive. <laughs> He's so big. But Avalog, thank you so much for getting some work done. Decidueye got some work done. Ursaluna here cleaning stuff up with EQ. That's pretty much match. Because I'm going to uh, trigger Guts. I can follow me. I can EQ. I can headlong rush. We pretty much had this one all wraps. We pretty much wrapped this up. It's 2v1 with Ursaluna. Aim set match. Game set match. Now we got them guts triggered. Now we got the guts triggered. Now I bring out Indeedee. Let's get it. That definitely made up for match number one. But third and final match, I want to get the CGI out there a little bit more. It's just tough playing with him because of all of his weaknesses. Maybe we might want to just terrestrialize him. But Inteleon comes out here as the last Pokemon. And do I have turns in Trick Room? I do. I do have one more turn left in Trick Room. So from here, you know what? I'm just going to help him hand this shot. And I'm going to go into a nice lovely facade. Nice, lovely facade. So this should KO Inteleon, no problem. Facade, popping here, guts, stab, helping hand, guts boost, everything. Everything boosting that thing. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Third and final match, loading up. And I promise you guys, gotta use the CGI a little bit more. And that's exactly what I'm gonna try to do here for you guys. Get ripping with this Pokemon. It did some crazy big damage onto Gengar, but of course it was Sash. If it would have just dumped on him and got rid of him, we actually would have been thriving. We would just went into the next turn, started ripping in with uh, the CGI a little bit more, and went from there. But gotta get him out here in match number three. A little bit more, a little bit better. But we're going up against a Groudon Sun Team? Come on, man. I don't like this one bit. Groudon Sun Team looks terrifying. They also have Jump Bluff. They got all these Pokemon. Really doing me dirty. Really doing me dirty. I'm going to go Armors here. Do I go Armors here? Do I go Armors set Trick Room? Who do I set the Trick Room with? This is so annoying. Cresselia is probably the best bet, right? I'm scared of the, uh, what's it called, though? I'm terrified of, uh... Sleep powder, right? Sleep powder's a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna go in. I might actually lead the Sidueye too. Sidueye can't be put to sleep. I like the Sidueye once we get off Trick Room. I really do. Ursaloon has gotta be that Pokemon. And then do we just go. Ah, oh, dude, Shen Pao's a problem. I'm gonna go Avalog. I'm gonna go Same Squad. I'm gonna go Same Squad. This one's just a. Problem, man. Gotta be going up against Groudon. Like, Groudon and Kyogre, like, they are just insane on the doubles ladder. Like, when they were brought in for Sword and Shield, there was just no stopping them. The only way to stop them was to have them, right? 
You just couldn't stop them. They were just too OP. They were too strong. So, like, using them on a casual ladder up against a team without them, it's pretty OP. So, we're going to try to get rid of them, try to dump on them. But let's see who they end up leading. Right on Jump Love. Always a problem. It's a problem because he probably just put me to sleep. Radon's massive here too. My best bet here would be just to get off this trick room and just protect the CGI. My best bet. So we're hoping he's not putting me to sleep. That's really what we're hoping here, right? Because I do have Levitate, which is good. Leaf Boy could do some big time damage on him as well. Sleep Powder, I knew it. I knew it. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What are you going for? You're going for an overheat. So we blocked the overheat. We do indeed block the overheat. I need my trick room girl to wake up as quickly as possible. Um, might just want to sacrifice the Avalug here. Might just have to be her play. Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice the Avalug. I'm sacrificing the Avalug. Such a pain, man. What can I do? Like, I had the lead in DD. That would have been the only thing. In DD, Cresselia. Follow me and kind of go from there. Now he sets up a tail, man. Oh, chill on me. Chill on me. Over he comes in here. We're sacrificing the Avalog. He's a goner. He actually soaked that. That's actually really good. Can you wake up, Cress? Cress, wake up. Cress, I need you to wake up. Are you White Herb? A Jack Pack. Yo, if Cress wakes up here, we have a big time shot at win this game. A big time shot at win this game. I just need Crest to wake up. You gotta wake up, Crest. Do it. Do him dirty. Wake up. Wake up right here, right now. Do him dirty. Wake up, Crest. Come on. Bang. Let's go. Big time wake up. Trick Room is now out and about. It's now out and about. We really like that. So, Jump Off's probably sashed. So, I'm gonna pop a Gleam to knock that off. And at the same time, I could go Rock Slide. But I could also go Mountain Scale. Rock Slide has higher accuracy. I'm gonna go Rock Slide. Cool, and he's gonna end up terrestrializing. You are terrestrializing. Who are you terrestrializing? So the trick room is out. We still have Decidueye. You're gonna terrestrialize you into what type of You in a straight fairy. Okay. I see. I feel ya. I feel ya. Moxide's gonna fly here. It's gonna land, which is big time. And it actually does not bring that thing down to Sash. Can Gleam KO it? It does not. That hurts a little bit. Shadow Ball's gonna fly here. That's fine. Crest can eat that. Cool. And Jump Bluff's gonna put me back to sleep. Okay. I understand. That's fine. <laughs> just put me to sleep. And now I go for another Rock Slide if I want to. I could just go for it. Actually, Rock Slide with KO. It's actually big time. And you know what? I'll just waste a turn trying to get Lunar Blessings off. So if I can land Rock Slide, that picks up a double KO. That picks up a double KO. So we know it's back in Pokemon's Growl. Problem. Big time problem. We still have Terra, right? We do indeed still have Terra. So the wake up was huge for us. It was big for us. We win this match somehow. That's ridiculous. That's wild. Hmm. I'm gonna withdraw the cotton balls. Cotton balls get withdrawn. Who are you gonna go into? Radon comes back out here. So Groudon comes back out here. I can hit that thing with uh, the mountain move, mountain scale. Rockside connects, huge, gets rid of you. Oh, yes, sir, Avalug. Avalug came to play. Avalug came to play. So once Crest goes down, then we bring out the Sidui, which could be really good. So now I can go for a mountain scale into Groudon and potentially KO it. So let's see what they bring out from here. There's no way you go back into Jump Bluff. You gotta probably go into your final Pokemon. This is gonna be Jump Bluff. So he goes back into Jump Bluff. Um, hmm. Let's we'll just go for a Gleam here. Gleam and a Mountain Scale. If this lands, this could be some big time damage on the Groudon. Stab, super effective. Base 100. Come on, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's land this Mountain Scale. Get rid of this Groudon. Really wanna win this. I definitely really wanna win this. Mountain Gale does connect. How much damage is done? Woohoohoo! Woo! Come on, man. That's too easy. Let's see what Jump Bluff's going for. Jump Bluff, are you KO my crest? Man, you shouldn't double sleep me. How dare you? 
Double sleep me. That ain't right. That ain't cool. That ain't right. Um. So harsh sunlight does fade. Hailwind's gone. We still got Tricker. Abla. God dang it. Char Char comes out here. The Char Char come out here. Chance Star was slumped. I'm just going to go into this gleam here. I'm going to try to get off this rock slide. So I'm still asleep. Press, are you waking up? Or are you dead here too? Yep, okay. So he's going to pick up the double kill. He's just going to pop a nice little heat wave. He's going to get after me that way. So heat wave is going to pick up the double kill. Okay. I feel you. I understand. I get it. I understand. Uh, we still have Ursaluna, which is pretty solid. And we still have Decidueye. And I still have Terra. I do still have Terra, which is great. So this cotton ball just keeps trying to put me to sleep. <laughs> get out of my face with that. Trick Room is gone. Kind of annoying. But I do have Water Terra, which is money for Decidueye. Money. Money. Money in the bank. Um... Jump off actually goes first. I'm gonna protect Ursaluna. And I'm gonna Terrasilize and... And who do I get rid of here? Actually, I'm just gonna get rid of Cotton Balls. And I'm just gonna protect you. The reason I wanna protect this Pokemon is because I want Guts to trigger. And I don't- I actually don't wanna go to sleep. And I want Guts to trigger. So I'm gonna Terrasilize my boy right here so he doesn't die to a Heat Wave. Decidueye coming to play. And there's no way you're putting my Decidueye to sleep. You know it's a grass typing. There's no way you click Sleep Powder on that. I'm trying to put my Ursaluna to sleep. Which I'm protecting. So I protect my Ursaluna. Do not put my Decidueye to sleep. Do not do me like that. Perfect. So a nice little read from us there. He's going for a Heat Wave. Decidueye can now eat that up with the, with the Water Terra. Go for a Solar Beam. Going for a solar beam. This is scary. It's scary. It's scary. That's real scary. It's real scary. Def, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. The decision I can't really do too much here. Triple arrows, we can maybe look for a flinch. Lower defense stat, yeah. And then we have to go for a facade here. Solar beam coming out here on the Ursuline. You might be able to eat this up, Ursuline. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, you got a crit. Oh, no, you got a crit. Decidueye, I need you. Get a defense drop. Do him dirty. You got a nice uh, terror type here. Solar Beam's going to be rough if he charges it up. See how much damage we're doing here. Not bad damage. Give me a defense drop. Oh, my God. I love you. I love you. He gets a crit. I get this. He can't Solar Beam in one turn. And I can just protect if you're going to Solar Beam. I don't think he can Beam. I think Decidueye's clutching this one up. Air Slash is a little scary. For sure. Don't you flinch me. Don't you flinch me. Do not flinch me. You lose life or damage. What did I just say? I said don't don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. And he flinches me. Alright, we got some leftovers. We should be able to eat up another one. I could protect to get more leftovers HP. But the problem with that is if he tries to charge up a solar beam. That would be the only problem. So I'm just going to stick with this. I'm going to say we can eat up whatever he has to offer. Dragon Pulse comes through here. We eat that up. That's game, set, match. Decidueye, Water Terror clutching up in the third and final match, getting us that winning record. You guys love to see it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, clutching up in match number three with Hisui and Decidueye. I absolutely love this team. The only way you're really taking it down is if you can counter the Trick Room. If not, this team is just going to steamroll through. You got the Flame Orb, Guts, Ursa Luna doing absolute work. Decidueye, who's very solid with his terror typing. Avalug, who is very surprisingly OP. And then you have Indeedee, Armouge, Cresselia, who we all know are absolutely amazing. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.